Welcome back, boys and girls. Last video, I unlocked the Quetzal teleport spots through Hunter Rumors activity. In preparation for the Moons of Perils grind, I need the Blue Moon set from there for a Master Clue step as my primary goal. I managed to get the Quetzal pet on the way too. Now we're ready for the Moon's bosses. But of course, Jax throws a wrench in our plans, which was the Valmor Combat Achievement release. The new combat achievement tasks cover Perilous Moons and Coliseum. So now I have another big goal, I guess, involving the Moon's bosses. We have actually 19 tasks left because six of them were KC tasks, pretty sure. And we, we do have KC for the Coliseum. So as you can see here, the Coliseum, we have the KC tasks done already. 10 of them? Ha! Huh. More like 74 of them. I want to finish the Perilous Moons combat achievements first since I finally prepared to do some moons. Hardest task in this set is definitely the one called Betrayal. This task requires me to kill one of the moons bosses with their respective armor worn. This means I have to grind for a set of armor first and I currently have zero drops from here. All the other tasks can be done immediately and are more skill based thankfully. This task is a bit confusing because when you're seeing me do this on video, it says I need the armor set, but Jagex changed it so instead of the armor set, it's actually the weapon for the respective boss. The reason why they changed it is because the uh, lower level account builds like Zerkers, they couldn't do this task before, which would stop them from getting Grandmasters, so they changed it so that it's weapons only. But yeah, we're just going to randomly complete some tasks though. High hitter, 4 to 5... Not sure what those are, but I'll probably put it on the screen as like an information overlay to show you what the task actually is. Oh, we did Perilous Moon Speed, Trialis, and Moons of Peril Speed Chaser, which is completing all three bosses under a certain time, so. Oh, yes! We got a freaking draw finally! 31 KZ, first item. Blood Moon Chest. Dang it, I was really hoping for the Blue Moon. But it's okay, you know, any of any of the sets, again, is going to complete the CA task, so. Yo, Lunar Triplet, I guess that's just completing a run with all three kills. Let's go, first item. Oh yeah, let's go. Yeah, by the way, this thing is like, basically Bandos, just a bit worse. But same strain bonus, as you can see. You get four strain bonus, actually nuts. The hardest mechanical challenge for combat achievements here is definitely the one called Perilous Dancer. That one, you have to defeat all three Moon's bosses without taking damage from any of their special attacks. And that definitely will take some practice, but I don't think the mechanics are super hard to master, I would say. Probably the Blood Moon one's probably the most difficult one, but honestly, they're all pretty easy once you do uh, you know, a good amount of KC. The task called Fab the Land, where it tells you to kill the bosses 30 times without leaving... Some people got it confused. It's not 30 chests without leaving. It's just 30 total of all three bosses without leaving. So it's a lot quicker. So the fastest is effectively 10 full chess runs. Surely 30. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got it, guys. Fat of the land. Um, That is 30. The most fun task in Perilous Moon is definitely Clone Zone. This task requires you to kill the Eclipse boss only during the clone phase you cannot damage it outside of it or a fail this task is super fun because i can actually bring something like darox and just complete the task in one clone phase but you can actually do multiple phases of the clone phase for this task so if you have like a really bad weapon like a d's game and that's all you got well you can still do it just takes longer but yeah i brought darox for the hell of it because during the clone phase all of your weapon cooldowns are reset which means you can bring a super hard hitting slow weapon like Elder Maul, Darax, Godsword, and it worked the best. The Clone Zone, we are done with that. A disclaimer about the Perilous Moon progression. You're not really going to see much of the loot in this video because this video is all about the new combat achievements. So we're only going to show you the bare minimum that I feel like that is needed for the combat achievements. But yeah, next video though, after, is going to be all about Perilous Moons because we do... Uh, do a lot more for perilous moons involving our initial goals not combat achievement related oh my god i got it let's go we completed a set uh thank you very much we completed a set yes uh yes 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 
The feet of a moon while wearing a full set head, chest, and legs. Oh, it says head, chest, and legs. So I guess I don't even need the weapon. All right. Yay, we completed betrayal. So yeah, you definitely don't need the weapon. Remember, this task was completed before the betrayal task changed. Now you only need the respective weapon, not the armor set. These game is so nostalgic, dude. I love the crap out of this weapon. Back in the in the young day, young days. Yeah, I'm like whooping it with the D skin. Nice. There we go. One done. All right. This should hopefully do it. Tell me if the task is completed. Hopefully, thralls don't mess it up. Oh, we're good. Yes. Let's go. Yay. Okay. That should be all of the perilous moons done. I'm looking at these Coliseum tasks, right? I was looking for the speed one. Just because there's always a speed one I have to do. But apparently, I don't have to do it at all. Because I actually have a sub-24 time. But usually with the speed times, they make you do it again. But this time, we don't have to do it again. Okay, let's look at the incomplete ones. So, there's a few notable ones. This one's definitely probably the hardest. Because I need Beast 2 active, Quartet active, Solar Flare active when fighting the last boss. I'm used to Quartet, Solar Flare, but not Beast 2. So, that one's going to be a little awkward. But I am practice with bees one at the boss so hopefully that won't be too much harder perfect food work uh this one is semi-perfect soul i've done perfect soul before and i've done near perfect ones a matter of just maybe a few runs overall defeat soul already without running during the fight this one is i assume might not be too bad we'll see i've never not done it with run on so we'll see um let's see there's another one that was also interesting Complete wave 11 with either red flag diamond duo do too. Should be okay. Oh, this one is interesting. Soul heretic fight. Ford is saluting northeast southwest of the arena while he's below 10% hit points. It doesn't say corners, so I guess I just have to go to four of the quadrants to represent the directions. But I think that's pretty much it. All these ones should be very doable. I'm just going to test something. I'm going to get it near dead, this Jaguar, and then I'm going to claw it and uh, hope that works. You think this might be enough? Okay, we should be okay, right? Ah, there we go. We got it. Sweet. There we go. Furball done. All right, so we just chill here. Don't, don't do anything. Just wait for the Tauros to come here. This is like the perfect setup. We have two things lined up like this, so the Toro Sky will have no choice but to run over here. So, like this, watch. Yeah, and he can't heal anything, so we're cruising. That's so troll. Right. Oh, we did it. Denied. That's for. Oh, Fnatic. Cool. But we got the denied one for the Toro, so that's cool. So, for the one-off task, you have to pick either Red Flag, Dynamic Duel, or Dune 2, and make it past Wave 11 with it on. It's decently challenging, but I already selected Red Flag for that specific task, and I managed to survive on that same run all the way to the boss, so that means I complete one-off as well. Oh, one-off. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Ah, oh, dang it. I, I failed. No, I failed the footwork. Oh, fuck. I, I don't even know what it was. Oh, what? No. Oh, fuck. I trolled. Okay, I'm rusty. <laughs> oh, I messed up. Oh, my goodness. I made one mistake the whole time. Oh, well. Oh, no way. Really? I didn't get any task completed? Uh, I guess I must have read it wrong. Let me see. Oh, that's one off. Complete wave 11 with the... Oh, I, I misread. Oh, my God. Okay, here's the deal. If we fail the perfect one, then we can just do the showboating one. Wait. South, east, west. Okay, I just gotta go east. Oh, fuck. East.
Yes, at least we got the show putting done. Because I messed up the perfect. Ah, okay. There we go. We got something. We got one done. I'm happy with that. Probably a good idea to just do them all separate. So I guess reinforcement is probably going to be the last one. Because I think probably it will be the hardest one. Holy, that was crazy. All three dead. Oh, I had to, man. I had to, because that's such a hard spawn. I had to do that. Otherwise, the double mage spawning is going to fuck me up. Okay. Oh, they're attacking at the same time. Fuck. Oh, no. Oh, one mistake, man. Oh, CBA, bro. Two. Okay, one. One. Oh, that was close. Oh my god. Reset. Okay, the reset. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Reset. Tell me I got it. Tell me I got it. Let's go. Oh, my God. That almost got fucked. Oh, dude, that was definitely a hard one. OMG. We got it. Uh, and we got this, but we got none of that. Oh, thank God. You know, shout out Kirby for the inspiration there. Let's try the no run on the final boss task now and see what happens. I have to remember I got to turn off my run. I guess Solar Flare it is because there's no way I can do five doom. No shot. All right, we got to not do the run. No running. Which really sucks. Okay, I got it now. Much better. Ooh! That was good. That was really good. That's what we need. I don't care. I'm, t I'm killing you. Oh, we did it. Let's go. Oh, explosion, explosion. Run away. Slow dancing in the sand. Let's go. We did it. All right, sweet. That's good. Uh, two more to go, boys. Two more to go. We got to do the hosta run and the reinforcement. Ah, uh, nice. Let's go. Wait, I can't even BGS. Oh, what's the point? I got to just leave. All right. Swipe. Uh, defender. Okay. All right. I haven't done this one before, so this is going to be interesting. Holy shit, are we going to do a perfect? Oh, I brought mine too. Dude, I did a perfect with a Zami Hosta. That's so troll, man. Wow, maybe I could have just comboed it. But I got really... I don't know. The 4 tick timing actually it felt easier to dodge. Holy, that's awesome. Yay! Alright, well, thanks for the thanks to Mr. Shelby. AKA Guy for us all, you know, he raided us and gave us the power. Yeah, that's all. All that's left is just this last one, but I definitely can't finish it today. Beast 2, Quartz Head, and Solar Flare 2. Oh, boy. I guess this will be the setup for the hardest task, supposedly. Thin's Bulwark, Light Bearer Attacks, and then we're going to put that on at the boss so we can get crazy amount of spec back with the Death Charge on the Beast. And then we can just keep spamming the Din's Bulwark AOE special. Surrounding target within a 10 by 10 area with 20% accuracy increase. So that's pretty, pretty good. We should be able to spec consistently and clear the bees before they reach us. And it's a 10 by 10. So that's a hundred tiles to work with here. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm so confused. Wait, they're just spawning like constantly. Oh, I got it. I got it. Beast 2. Oh my God. 
Yeho, this is it. Hopefully. I don't know. Supplies are bad, but... I should be okay. Hopefully. Alright. Now the question is, where are the bees spawning? Fuck. Yes. Oh, what? Oh god, I'm chilling. Oh! <gasps> no! <laughs> Realistically, no. Ah, uh, this is dog shit, bro. What is what is this? Can't even like I can't even get started, you know? So RNG. Like if I have to pick the extra bad ones on top of the three super bad ones I have to pick, yeah, it's pretty much like just reset at that point. Oh, what? No, the explosion. Okay, we made it back to the boss again. Ah, freaking. Oh, look at this. Man, they really, <laughs> they really don't want me to get this. I could have gotten myopia or something, but no, I have to get explosion. That's uh, lame. I'm dead. Oh, beast multitasking ruined it. Anyways, we're back again. Somehow, we got a back-to-back -back quartet, solar flare, bees. Oh, dude, the, the bees are spawning in such bad spots. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, uh... Oh no. Oh man, fuck. Hold on, I need to fix this. Is there a way I can fix this? Jesus. Oh, nice. Yes! Oh my god, I got it. Oh, that was hard. God damn, that was definitely one of, uh, I don't know about harder than perfect one, but mechanically, definitely harder. Uh, yeah, I'd say this one's a bit harder. Holy shit, that was like a four minute fight. But yeah, that's it. All the tasks are done again. Man, we got trolled with the Perilous Moon task. But the stupid armor set took like a week. But hey, we still, you know, we still got it done relatively fast i guess for the iron but yeah oh it's over let's go ahead and re-talk to this guy again for like the sixth time but yeah we got everything done cool 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 two minute thralls are back sweet 
That's the main thing uh, I would use right now is the two-minute throw also.